it's Bridget from Math Giraffe. I'm going to talk just a little bit real quickly about dual coding theory, which is psychological theory from the 70s, and it helps us understand how students store information in two different channels based on whether it's visual graphic information or auditory um, word information that's coming into their mind. How can we connect those, and I like to do it through visual note taking, where the students blend words and images together in order to increase their retention, help them really make connections, and understand and remember our lesson material better. So the big idea behind dual coding theory is that as we learn or receive input, our brains store visual information, images, graphics, in a separate area than auditory or text information, basically words. All that linguistic information is stored in a totally different area than the other senses. They sit there in short-term memory, all that information being processed in two completely different channels. But to move these two boxes of information out of short-term memory and into long-term memory as real learning, we have to link the two. Then it really sticks. We already know that to teach our students better, we need to put together both visual and auditory or text input. So this verbal text input is great, and this visual image is great, but when together they're combined, it really builds the concept of soup. So this really operates in a similar way to how we teach our students to visualize while they're reading text. The images they imagine in their mind connect with the more linguistic or verbal input from the text in the book and help them really remember the story and what's happening in a better way. A related psychological theory, the picture superiority effect, is supported by studies that show that blending images with text offers a stronger learning experience than using text alone. It turns out that this boosts both the memory of individual terms and ideas, as well as the associations and connections between the concepts. This strategy can be used in note taking using visual notes like sketch notes or doodle notes to boost understanding and retention of the lesson material. For example, compare this to this. In case you needed one more research based brain reason to try doodle notes, this is it. Be sure to also check out the video below on crossing the brain hemispheres as well as the other cool videos on this Tools for Teaching Teens site. There's some awesome stuff. Then head to doodlenotes.org for more information if you're interested. I hope you and your students really love this strategy. It's amazing how much it really makes things stick for them. Enjoy!